staying with us and a very warm welcome to those who've just joined us. Good afternoon. This is All Angles on ENCA. Now, driving an electric vehicle in South Africa does not really help the environment as the energy used to charge it is not clean. But uh, one local company is taking steps to change that. Zero Carbon Charge is working on producing 100% renewable energy to charge electric vehicles in South Africa. For more on how the company plans to achieve this, uh, we um, are joined by the co-founder, Andres Mal Malherb. Uh, he joins us now from Stellenbosch via Zoom. Thank you very much for your time here on ENCA, Andres. Uh, just tell me, in terms of Zero Carbon Charge, uh, with, with what you're offering when it comes to electric vehicles what are the economic opportunities that we can find in your solutions as a country uh, thank you for having me the, the I think the biggest uh, benefit really is we are importing over 300 billion rands worth of petroleum products every year from from overseas mm. and if we could switch uh, to electric cars we would uh, and trucks, we would immediately have a, a massive saving that grows over time in terms of foreign exchange savings and localizing and, and democratizing energy uh, in the country. Because mm. to make it work, you would you would generate your, your energy locally all over the country, and and that would have you know as you can imagine tremendous benefits in terms of employment, technical skills, local manufacture. Uh, you name it, and it's there. So it really is a is a very positive story for South Africa. Mm. All right, but obviously, Mr. Malhobert, you you always ask this question. I'm pretty sure, in terms of mm -hmm. uh, you know, in South Africa, where we have uh, all the way up to stage six load shedding, that is 12 hours of no uh, power a day in some areas. You know, how do you plan on electric cars in a country like ours that has such a crisis? Well. Uh, because our solution is is completely off grid and it's okay. completely green, uh, and maybe to quickly go back to your first point, you know, uh, the problem with, with generate you generating electricity in South Africa is it is still predominantly coal uh, driven, and that means that driving an electric car in South Africa that's that's powered by the grid is really no is really not much better than driving. A petrol car or a diesel car. So that, unfortunately, is the downside uh, that that we all have to address. But if you if you are able uh, uh, to generate the power yourself, and, and we're talking about relatively small solar arrays, batteries, uh, and some generators, um, not only are you completely off grid and not subject to load shedding, but in addition, your power is com completely clean, completely clean. Uh, or completely green, and mm -hmm. and the final and maybe best thing is that you can generate as much power as you need to charge a car really quickly, which means that you can charge a car in roughly the same time it takes to fill a car with petrol, um, and not two or three hours as is the case if you would charge off the grid. Mm, besides the fact that, of course, uh, with uh, what we heard yesterday, petrol going up again from yesterday, so now it cost about two, 250 rand more for a full tank now uh, in South Africa than it used to just two months ago. That's a very short period. So electric cars will obviously uh, be very welcome. Then I assume that uh, this would also, uh, at least zero carbon charge, would also go towards South Africa's promises that we made as part of the Paris talks when it comes to, uh, you know, getting rid of, um, you know, the use of coal for the environment's sake. We, we need, um, the Presidential Climate Commission said this week that we need about 750,000 electric cars to make our climate targets. Mm. Um, you know, that may sound like a lot of cars, but there are 10 million cars in South Africa. So, so even a, a relatively small switch to electric cars will have tremendous benefits for the country. But all over the world, you know, countries like China, France and the UK, um, up to 30% of the annual sales of cars nowadays are, are ele electric cars. Uh, worldwide, uh, the sales level as a percentage of new car sales is, is over 15% and it climbs every year. And so, we, you know, this is something that we're lucky, you know, this is something that is coming our way and it's giving us a tremendous opportunity for local employment, for local manufacture, uh, to, to generate our, our electricity ourselves, uh, to generate more electricity than we currently have. So it, it, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's an infrastructure story. It's a, it's a, it's a tremendously interesting and, and, and exciting story for South Africa. 
Mm. All right. And, you know, explain to me in terms of, for instance, what you say in your statement um, that it would assist us. This, is, this would obviously be something that you would uh, think that government would be interested in. And I don't know if there's any relation between your company as a private company and government and how the appetite is looking. We have been uh, very fortunate in the last couple of weeks to interact with the government at various levels. Um, and I think, uh, if, if I were to summarize for you, the response has been universally uh, positive. Uh, the fact that uh, we are able to demonstrate how much uh, manufacture could happen in South Africa, to what extent it would support the, 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 the car industry in South Africa, the way, you know, we have, we're a largely rural business. Um, because we're targeting long distance travel, because of, because we want to combat range anxiety that you get with electric cars. Okay. Uh, there's a, there will be a tremendous um, investment in rural areas and, and job creation, um, because every charging station will have to have a convenience offering, a convenience store, a coffee shop next door. So, so the reaction has been universally, uh, universally positive. Mm. Oh, all right. Well, that's at least uh, good to hear. And from now on, I guess it's going to be um, about whether or not South Africans can afford electric vehicles, because the ones that I've seen, at least, Mr. Malherber, are not very affordable. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Andres Malherber, he is the co-founder of Zero Carbon Charge. Thank you for your time.